All right, in this problem, we're going to solve this initial value problem. We'll notice that the right-hand side is not exactly on the list of things that uh, we know how to take in the uh, Laplace transform of. So to get started, let's figure out the Laplace transform of the right-hand side. Laplace transform of 5 times delta of t minus pi times cosine t. By definition of Laplace transform, that's integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus s times t, times 5 times delta of t minus pi times the cosine of t dt. Now, integrals with delta functions are extremely easy. All that I have to do is for everything else besides the delta functions. So for this part and for this part. This delta function um, is, has a spike when t is equal to 2 pi. So the value of this integral is going to be exactly what I get when I plug in 2 pi for t for everything else. And so that's just the way that we find the integral of a function that an uh, integrand that has a delta function inside of it. If I have delta of t minus 2 pi, I plug in 2 pi everywhere where I see t, and that's the value of the integral. And so in this case, that's going to be 5 times e to the minus 2 pi s times 1, since cosine of 2 pi is 1. So 5 e to the minus uh, 2 pi s. So that's the plus transfer of the right-hand side. Now using this, we can now solve the initial value problem. So with that as prelude, let's come back to the initial value problem. So we have s squared y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. That's the plus transform of y double prime plus the Laplace transform of y equals the Laplace transform of the right-hand side, which we just got done saying was 5 e to the minus 2 pi s. Okay, so with this, uh, this part is going to be a minus s. I'll bring that over. That's 0. So I get s squared plus 1 times y of s is equal to s plus 5 e to the minus 2 pi s. Then dividing, we get y of s is equal to s over s squared plus 1 plus 5 over s squared plus 1 times e to the minus 2 pi s. Okay, so now we find the uh, inverse Laplace transform. The inverse Laplace transform of this part is simply cosine t. Uh, over here, just recall that the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 1 is sine t. And so using that, I will take everywhere I see a t, I will replace by t minus 2 pi to account for the 2 pi that I see here. So 5 times the sine of t minus 2 pi times the step function at 2 pi. And that's basically it. For this one, there's a simple trig identity I can use. Um, by the periodic properties of sine, t minus 2 pi is the same thing as uh, sine of t minus 2 pi is the same thing as sine of t. And that is the answer to this problem. So this part is, accounts for the behavior of the uh, motion of y before the step function, before the, the impulse function occurs. And then after time 2 pi, we get a spike. And so I get an extra behavior uh, because of the spike at time 2 pi.